I've been building cars uh, for the last 30 years. Um, I've been especially involved in the road ra racing end of the uh, car spectrum. Um, what I've got here is a 69 Mustang that's a full chassis car. Um, when I built this car, I tried to use all the best components that I could find on the market. Um, that's one of the main reasons I like to attend SEMA is I can see all the manufacturers, what products they have, what will fit my needs the best. Um, on this car, um, I looked at all the different companies' dashes and instruments they have to offer. Um, I didn't want to go with the analog type instruments because mainly I don't have enough room for them. Um, and what I like about the race pack is I can get all my functions in one small panel and not have to uh, worry about space. Um, and it kind of gives me the road race look. Um, and that's the look I was looking for. Um, what I especially like about the dash is I can program it to four different screens so you can actually get 30 different functions out of it um, without having a ton of gauges. Um, and it's easy to see. Um, I, I just, the way it hooks up, it's, it's really slick. Um, I think you'll really like it. Um, what we'll get into in a little bit is how to install it. Um, it's really not a big deal. There's just a few things that you need to be aware of that might save you a lot of time in the long run. Uh, mistakes that you make um, and that's what we're going to try to do today. What I did is um, instead of reinventing the wheel um, on this particular car, 6970 Mustang, this is what the factory plastic bezel looks like dash instrument. Instead of trying to remake these curves which will take you hundreds of hours to get it right, uh, use what they gave you to work with. Now, what I want to do is get rid of the, all, the inner part of it. Uh, when you do this, the cheapest, easiest way is I always use poster board. Um, this is my template I made for this particular dash. Um, and what you can do is lay it in there and draw up, get a, a, just a, a Xerox copy of the race pack so you know what it looks like and just set it on the poster board and move it around until you get it in a location that you like. Uh, this car, uh, I had already wired it uh, basically your conventional way like you would a carbureted car, an older car. Um, I didn't know I was going to be using the race pack at the time. So what I did is this is the, the plug that comes with the race pack. It comes with a harness with about oh, two feet of, or actually uh, six, seven feet of wire. Um, make sure you leave the wire long enough that you can pull the dash out to unplug it to give yourself some room. Um, basically each wire I tied into uh, the uh, existing turn signal, left turn signal, right, backup light, high beams. Uh, I used the sensors that came with the race pack, the oil pressure and water temperature. I did have to find new locations to locate those. We can show those to you later. Um, but anyway, real slick setup. Also, uh, this is your USB port. So I have it run over to the glove box so that you can program it from a laptop. And then also I've got the two wires for the uh, program and the display on the dash, which the display is a really nice feature. I wanted to have it close because this gives you four different screens. You can choose whatever you want on each screen. I have one of them for the street, has the odometer, trip odometer, water pressure, oil temperature, the, the basic stuff you want. Then I've also got the screen program for when I do road racing. Uh, it has the, the settings that I want to see most importantly on that.